Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the channel. Welcome to this commentary that is the Metro Boomin presents Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse parentheses soundtrack from and inspired by the motion picture. Bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna run out of characters on this title of this video just based on that. Uh, but this is just my commentary about what I thought about the album. Eventually, I am gonna edit this down and make it available for like a 40 minute, 30 minute album review but I know not everybody has the time to watch those. So for those people that want to get my commentary on it and just want a quick little video on it, that's what we're doing here. Y'all guys enjoy this type of video. Let me know. Again, I'm still going to put the album out. It's going to be fully available on Patreon in full, the stream of the album where we did it on Twitch. Follow the Twitch guys. That's where we do all of our live streams. I would stream on YouTube, but YouTube is mad, mad tight and, and strict about copyright. So it's just impossible to stream music sometimes on YouTube. That's why we stream on Twitch. So follow us over there if you want to be a part of this kind of content where we do the full album reviews and song reviews and new music Friday, all of that. This album right here, I haven't seen the movie, right? The movie just came out yesterday on the day that I'm recording this. It's a decent, uh, it's like a weird, it's a weird feeling that I feel about it. It's kind of like a lose-lose feeling. At the end of the first listen of it on stream, I rated this, you know, it's, it's literally mid not mid as in like terribly bad but mid as in i think i gave it a six out of ten and then most of that was going to be production it's kind of like a lose lose type situation for this type of album because while metro boomin's production is flawless as it was on his on his heroes and villains album is just as flawless it is as it is here it is definitely falls victim to the constraint that is we need this to be part of a movie one of my main complaints with it and i know you can't really have this as a complaint because it is a soundtrack to a movie is that we are way too obvious a lot of these rappers on this album they're making it way too obvious they're trying too hard to be so literal with the lyrics to fit spider-man into it and i think that flaw generally comes from a lot of these artists they're capable and they're amazing artists for what they do but i don't think that they are capable of enough writers outside of maybe like lil wayne jid uh don toliver whiz kid outside of like the standouts coiler ray outside of the standouts like these people a lot of these songs were way too on topic for me to be able to listen to them after the fact and on top of that people in chat were saying that that a lot of these songs hit different whenever you've seen the movie because you have the context of where these songs get placed into the movie and that's kind of one of the downfalls of soundtracks is that like if you haven't seen the movie this is going to be way too literal like i said production was flawless i don't expect anything different from metro Boomin. metro is on top of the world in terms of being one of the world's premier hip-hop producers but again the album is limited based on the fact that it is a soundtrack and this is the problem with most soundtracks your average person is not going to want to hear literal lyrics about spider-man this album would have been so much better if it was a compilation of just songs that were incorporated into the movie or if these writers and these rappers were more capable in terms of working in spider-man to the wordplay a lot of it is very literal and it's nothing against these artists but a boogie with a hoodie nav asap rocky offset etc just more of these features they're just not and, and these are good rappers i'm not saying they're not i'm not saying that they're bad rappers it's just they they were too literal for me in my liking half of this album is most definitely like a one and done listen for me i will not go back and listen to i won't go back and listen to all the way live i won't go back to listen to am i dreaming i won't go back and listen to non-violent communication i won't go back listen to nas morales like literally half of these songs i won't I won't be returning to now the tracks that i will be returning to are going to be annihilate uh even though lil wayne went first unfortunately for offset lil wayne is one of those rappers just like eminem just like drake just like j cole these people are icons and they are so gifted with the pen that it's unfortunate for the song that they go first because if i listen to annihilate again i'm skipping past the song as soon as i get done with sway lee and lil wayne i'm not i'm not even going to consider listening to off-white off-white offset but we got annihilate we got all the way live a little bit I might re-listen a couple of times, but definitely Danger. Calling, I actually will re-listen to. Sway Lee uh, killed that, and that definitely saved the song. Sway Lee is that level of, of talent that I will listen to the song just for him. And the melody was pretty solid on that. Uh, Silk and Cologne, super fire. We're definitely coming back to that. Link Up, fire, coming back to that. Home, fire, coming back to that. Self-love, coming back to that. 
and then everything else after that probably not so i'd say maybe six out of the 13 seven out of 13 songs are re-listens for me hey 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 calm down that's what i thought about the album ladies and gentlemen uh if, if y'all guys want to leave your thoughts about what you thought about it what you liked what you didn't like about it again it's just, it's just whenever it comes to soundtracks if it's a compilation of songs that fit the theme of the album but the songs are not based on the on the theme of the album i like those more than songs that are literally about the, the album like this but the only exception being eight mile but yeah this album was just okay for me nothing that i'm gonna write home to mom about nothing that i'm gonna return to half of the time on these songs and like i said it's because it's because it's way too literal for me it's way too literal for me and a lot of these artists on here cannot deal with the constraint of not being able to cuss because obviously this is a kid-friendly movie and so the soundtrack needs to be that as well so not being able to cuss and also having to stay on topic a lot of these rappers are not capable in those two aspects but yeah at the end of the day it's just okay it's not going to be an eight mile level soundtrack it's not going to be a get rich or die trying level soundtrack it's not going to be a black panther level soundtrack and it but it, it does the job that it's supposed to do especially if you've seen the movie i'm sure that i'm sure the soundtrack hits different but if y'all guys like this format it's just a quick in and out so that way y'all can see where i am and and my thoughts on it again i do plan on editing this album down for youtube and it will be available in full the full reaction the full stream on patreon um i just wanted to give you all my thoughts on it while it's fresh in my mind but other than that guys i appreciate y'all's time as always and i will see y'all guys in the next video later